Well, you might be wondering why am I awake at 4 a.m. or just past 4 a.m. Well, let me tell you a story. Uh, I'm currently in France and for the past year, year and a half, I've had this item on my bucket list to come and work and see how a French bakery works because here in France, they take pride in their food and their, especially in their baked goods. They eat bread with everything every single day. So yesterday, I decided to go around and ask some bakeries if they would have me, you know, in the morning just to wander around, see maybe even help them a little bit. And from the first try, this lady from the baker that I've been going to was super nice and she's like, yeah, sure, come tomorrow, 4 a.m. We started at 4 a.m. Um, she said, but you can come at 5, uh, that's okay. Et aussi, j'ai une question pour vous. Oui. Um, Parlez-vous anglais? Non? Oh là, elle est telle. Non? Je, je, je peux en français. Um, j'ai créé les vidéos sur cultures différentes. Et maintenant, je suis en France. Et je voudrais créer une vidéo comme, uh, comme en pâtisserie. Comme... Ah oui, au comme... travail là-bas. Oui, oui, oui. oui. Euh, C'est ce possible. Je voudrais prendre une vidéo quand vous travaillez. Je, je peux. Un autre jour, un... parce qu'aujourd'hui. Oui, 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 oui. demain, demain, demain ou mardi pour euh, filmer votre travail. Oui, d'accord. Okay. Oh, merci beaucoup. <rire> Puis j'allais demain. Ils embauchent à 4 heures. À 4 heures? Mais pas, vous venez plus tard. Hein. <rire> je peux... Vous pouvez venir à 5h ou 6h. 5h, ok, ok, ok. 5h. 5h. <rire> <Okay. Okay. Okay. rire> I just came out of this bakery. That's my first attempt. First bakery I chose. I came here twice already. And uh, the lady was super nice to me, even with my horrible French. And now I got two uh, pain chocolat, and tomorrow I'll be learning how to make some at 5 a.m. Well, she said come at four, but then she said you can come later. So let's see if I can wake up at four. Mm, we'll try, but I'm super excited. Well, first try, and bingo. All right, till tomorrow. And so here I am the next morning. There's absolutely no one outside. I am biking in the rain <laughs> and I'm about to get to the place. Let's see how everything goes because I'm not sure how we're gonna communicate. They don't speak English. My French is comme si comme ça, so so. So yeah, but I'm really excited for this. Crazy. Well, here it is. Good morning. 5 a.m. every morning at 4 a.m. At 4 a.m. they're here, ready to go, to make bread for everyone, to make treats for everyone. Incredible. They start at 4 and they open up around 6 or 7 um, and then throughout the morning they bake a bit more but the most of the most of the work happens in the morning. While everyone's still asleep, these gentlemen out here are working hard. L'étape 1 c'est la pétrière. L'étape 1 c'est un. Après l'étape 2, c'est ici. C'est le frigo. Frigo. Ok. Bloqué en froid. Ça uh -huh. se déclenche à une certaine heure en chaud pour gonfler. Ouais. Et étape 3, c'est le four. Uh -huh. Et étape 4, c'est la vente au magasin. Ah, ok. <rire> <Voilà>. <rire> Seulement 4 étapes. <rire> Elle la machine faire le magique. <rire> Et c'est ça. Ah. On va commencer avec le... Euh, pa commencé... pa 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 Ici il y avait ça mais il y avait certaines fournées qu'on faisait tout à la main. Et on s'assonnait tout à la main. 
Wow. Et co combien d'années euh, vous... ben Moi, moi j'ai 57 ans et j'ai commencé à 14 ans. Ah oui. Donc, euh... Et si Oh, non, pas ici. Pas, non. pas ici, non. So before, they used to do everything by hand. And the shift would start not at 4 a.m., but at midnight. And finish around 10 or 11. By hand. Every single baguette. Thank God they have machines. A test test of a freshest croissant. Or pain au chocolat. Or how they call it here, chocolatine. It's very hot. The best one I've had so far. And the first client comes in at 6.34. C'est le virus, le virus est là, c'est le virus le maître du temps. On est obligé d'agir par rapport à lui en permanence, on est obligé d'éviter les impacts du virus sur les populations. Well, that sums up my time here. I only spent two hours here. These gentlemen came here before I got here and they're gonna stay for another six hours. They work nine hours a day to make this bread, to make all these treats for people to enjoy. I think I've gained such a great appreciation for their work. Just seeing them doing their thing and then me trying to stand there in the corner, not bothering them filming and taking photos. Um, but yeah, I. I'm absolutely amazed by, by the amount of work that they do. Um, it seems like such a simple thing, right? We come to, a, well, you usually don't really come to bakeries. You come to a, a store, a supermarket, and you see that bread, you grab it, you quickly eat it, that's it, gone. But really knowing how this is all done, it just, just gives me a great, great, great appreciation for this, for this hard work. I now know how to make bread. There are five steps. And also witnessing this, of course, and interacting with these people, even though with my uh, horrible French, I really need to step it up, um, gave me a deeper appreciation for, for this city, for, for this country, for, for this region. Um, I'm not just a tourist passing through, I'm not just a person who came and looked at all the beautiful things and left, but it left a mark. It left a mark for me, it left a mark for them. And now I think I can say that this place will forever have a special place in my heart um, and I hope to come back. I definitely will. And now I want to go print the photos that I took of, uh, of, of, of the lovely bakers and give it to them as just a little token of appreciation. And well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're ever here in France, in La Rochelle, come to this bakery. It's the best one in town. The nicest people who are open, who take so much care in what they do each bread each little small thing incredible i hope you enjoyed this video and well, i'll see you in the next one